So I'm going to teach you how to hallucinate, if that's okay. Basically, let's see if this is the... Yeah, hallucinations are when you have a perception that isn't actually there. That's all it is. So, things like ghosts and stuff. If you've seen a ghost, you've probably hallucinated. Well, of course, ghosts could exist, as George was saying. We don't know, or we hardly know hardly anything. So, I'm going to attempt to make people hallucinate now. Can I have lights off, whoever's nearest the lights? You need to shut your eyes for this, otherwise it won't work. If you shut your eyes and try and concentrate on the blackness in front of you, you should see little points of white and black and white and black that sort of sparkle in and out, yes? I had a vague murmur of assent. If you then screw up your eyes further, you can try and cause patches of colour, generally green, to appear behind this little staticky bits. Has anyone had any success? Yeah. Excellent. <coughs> I can't really see, but the lights can come back on. That's, that is a type of hallucination. That is what's called closed eye visualisation, or closed eye hallucination, but obviously the sensible answer, the sensible acronym of closed eye hallucination wasn't good enough, so they went with CEV, which is nicer to say, I suppose. This is an adaptation of what you should have hopefully seen. I've got to stretch this over five minutes. This might not go as well as I was Basically, these are the, it, it's called visual noise, and there are five different levels you can have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, obviously the computer doesn't think I'm doing a very good job here. There are five different levels of closed eye visualization you can um, reach, but the, less, the last three are really only accessible if you pay regular, if you're paid regular visits by the LSD fairies. So... Many times. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? <laughs> and the way it works is that these are um, an adaptation of mine. Well, these are a type of cell in your eyes, photoreceptor cells. There are two types of photoreceptors. There are rod cells, which is dark. There are also cone cells, and each cone cell is coded for a particular colour. But in this case, what it what um, causes the little visual noise, the distortion, is that uh, temperature, and hopefully I'll put it in, yeah, temperature causes them to excite. And if you keep trying this and keep focusing on the blackness in front of your eyes, sort of when you have a spare moment, you should eventually be able to see it overlaid over real life, because it's there all the time. So, visual noise is there all the time, you just don't notice it. If you do, um, people can suffer from something called visual snow, which is the similar sort of thing but they can't block it from conscious perception, like the majority of people. Once you start to get towards the people who, like Isaac, take LSD, <laughs> you start to get more interesting patterns. You know, something similar to this. These are sort of Google, not Google. This is um, taboo word, Wikipedia's best guess at what it looks like, basically. And so, as you go further and further on, the LSD starts to mess up your mind, and basically it's not good. Although I'm assuming that that comment was directed mainly at Isaac. LSD? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> LSD is obviously some sort of cell signaling thing, but I didn't look into LSD. I was more concerned with trying to make you all hallucinate. I thought that was much more entertaining. I think that, yeah. As you get further and further on, you can start to move beyond <coughs> the visual noise and the visual sort of colors and shapes that start to appear. And you can actually start to visualize objects. Admittedly, this is getting on towards level five of closed eye visualization, at which point you're either in a coma or completely insane, which obviously is not a good state to be in. So, there you are. You can hallucinate really, really easily just by closing your eyes. And that, I think.